So here's a game I made up, you know, kind of like based on what cor called cornhole. And this game is called bunghole. Why? Because it's the bad behavior game. Doo -doo -doo. Bad behavior game. <clears throat> so I've, you know, I made this like kind of sort of um, mildly bad, but see i was you know this needs to be like really bad like honest bad behavior so i need to get away from this cutie stuff although i like this drawing here i don't know and that's like a happy person i like that drawing and there's my cute bunny but that needs to be like a killer bunny without any question and you know these people need to be screaming and you know when you play a game and it goes wrong i mean things go seriously wrong and people swear so this is like just like not working. So I'm gonna you know rework this thing and and make this thing happen, make it bad, really bad. Dun dun dun. Mr. Sacred, what do you think that you actually saw? What do you feel you saw? At well, this time? I just have no idea what this thing was. I've never seen anything like it before. And now it's time for the bad behavior game. The new, improved, much more wonderful bad behavior game, where it's just much better, more, better, 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 more. So we have actually no cuss words. I was going to put cuss words on it, but I thought, you know, I'm just getting too involved in cussing. It's starting to like bother me that I, you know, cuss so much. So I'm going to stop for this video, I think. And, um, well, there you go. I mean, like, oh, man, so I can't even get it, like, get it all in there. It's just, it's bigger and better now. And, uh, there you go. And uh, so, <clears throat> so I have, like, people like, oh, you know, when you play a game and you drink, you know, you need to drink, drink more booze. Then things get out of control and you start, like, yelling at one another. And, and like, maybe... You know, you get so angry, you have your dog sick, the person you're playing. Or the other thing I thought is like, you could just say, um, I've got a concealed carry permit. You know, it's just kind of like this, this, this subtle threat. Or maybe you get into a knife fight. You know, that's happened over a game. You know, I'm sure, you know, people have gotten cut over cornhole. And, uh, <clears throat> and down here is like, I sleep with your wife. And this guy says, hey, I sleep with your wife too. And there's the wife, she's happy because she's sleeping with two guys, you know. And um, <clears throat> and uh, these holes, I think they look like like you could put boobs in them. And that's bad, too. And, uh, you know, what's, what's the score, fool? You just get, like, you get trash talking when you play games. So, you know, that's what this is all about. Just, like, um, going too far when you play a game. You know, somebody gets hurt and, and you have to call an ambulance. And, uh, if, if it's like a really high scoring game, you may have to call air care. Um, and you can play this. This is this was doable. Here, you see, I've added this. That shelf's new, and that shelf's new, and this shelf is new. Uh, but the rest is, I've played this before. Now, I've got the highest score on this thing, but I haven't been able to hang, you get three bags, and I haven't been able to hang bags on these three posts yet. So, uh, that's like could be up to somebody else to do that um, and I took all the scores off because why if you're playing a game it's just bad make up your own damn scores you know what I'm saying and then because you've made up your own rules and scoring system then that will just cause trouble even if you're not drinking and then people are going to get hurt shot or cut and that's what this game's all about there's this voice that kind of inside of you it said, calm, you know, be calm and don't worry about anything. And the same day, this voice, now, what, it spoke in English? No, no, it just, you just knew something inside. It wasn't going to hurt you. It said, just delay there and no harm would ever come to it's us. Like you weren't hearing anything at all. It, it was just, just inside of you. And it, we just knew we were still scared, but we weren't as scared as we were. Hey, let's play a round of bunghole. Engineered to scientific precision so that you can throw these bags at it, all right? So here we go, let's see what we can do here. I better use my right hand because I'm left-handed. Oh! 
Yeah! Ho! Now that's what I call fun. <laughs> oh man! Open another beer! This one time that I had an adult beverage sitting on the table out here on the porch. And somebody came up, you know, to look over the hillside. Right? Got a nice view. And so I'm talking to him, you know, and I'm talking and talking. The guy wants to take some pictures. I said, yeah, come on back, bring your camera. And uh, he leaves, and I turn around, and like Hoover has drank half a bourbon and Coke. So you see what I'm doing here is, you know, like the biggest scores, probably now the biggest scores are the uh, hardest ones to hit are the pegs, and plus these little side things I put on there, like that. And leave that alone. Leave that alone. Hey. Jesus. Hey, bring that back. Ah. Oh, awesome. He's like, why can't I get that? Oh, man. Hey, hey, no fair. Oh, this is a bad behavior. Let's try for a peg. Uh, oh. <sighs> See what I'm talking about? Like, if that pug had a knife, he would have cut me right then. Well, the day it happened, Sam and I were out working the cattle. I rode down to this point and looked right up there, and I saw this object just sitting there.